So for this frog face, I started out with a ping pong ball, which I cut and painted with Sharpies to look like an eyeball. Then I used play dough to kind of flesh out a styrofoam head and put the ping pong ball on top of it. Made a recipe of Fotex and added some coloring to that. And I just painted that while it was still warm in thin layers right over the play-doh and around the eyeball. And let that set once it was congealed and I smoothed it out with a hot knife. I added bumps with a little plastic bag. Heated up some Fotex to use as glue and spread that on my face. And as you see I stuck a piece, a rubber piece of the camera right over my eye to kind of give support to the ping pong ball when that was on my eye. And then just put that, press the edges over on my skin. Kind of tricky, it would be a lot more helpful if you had somebody else doing it for you. The edges were kind of bumpy. I should have flattened the edges out with a hot knife before applying it to my face, but um, I didn't. I also made some paint with hand lotion, food coloring, and a bit of white poster paint and painted my face with that. As you can see, I, I couldn't see very well, so I couldn't see the bumpy edges of the Fotex on my face. Later on, I fixed it with some more warmed up and thinned out Fotex. You can paint this with pretty much any kind of um, acrylic paint or face paint. Uh, I mean the, uh, the Fotex itself. I used hand sanitizer because at this point the Fotex was still sticky. So to press it on and not have it stick to my fingers, just put some hand sanitizer on my fingertips. Here I am putting some warmed up Fotex around the edges, which I should have done even before painting it. And of course I've got glitter all over the place. And my favorite Amazonian headdress. Filling in the holes. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty fun to work with. Actually, it's kind of tricky to work with, but you can make some pretty fun effects. <laughs>